In this topic, we will learn about basic Docker architecture. One of the fundamental philosophical goals of Docker is that its architecture should be as simple and as scalable as possible. And to that effect, Docker uses a simple client-server architecture. The client-server architecture can essentially be broken down into three important constituents. On the host, we have several containers that can possibly be launched. Each of those containers will contain its own Dockerized application with all the dependencies in it. And uh, right on top of these containers is this invisible layer called the Docker daemon, which is a thread that controls the execution and life cycle of each of these containers. And the Docker daemon by itself is accessed by a Docker client, which is outside the host. And the Docker client will help us perform operations like pulling an image or running an appropriate image interactively or otherwise, and various other utilitarian commands. The important point to remember in this client-server architecture is that the end user never gets to talk to the daemon. The end user would always be interacting with the client, which then knows how to interact with the daemon by way of appropriate commands. By keeping this architecture this simple, Docker achieves a great amount of efficiency and scalability. Talking a little more about Docker daemons, the Docker client talks to the Docker daemon only and never to the container at all. The Docker clear all the commands that issue from a Docker client are interrupted and uh, interpreted by the Docker daemon to be executed at the container level. And the important role that the Docker daemon plays on a host machine is that it does all the heavy lifting that's required. And that, again, is one of the promises of Docker containers, that the client remains unaware of what happens underneath the hoods. And the containers make use of existing OS services to leverage whatever it needs to be done. So it is the Docker daemon that provides all those essential services to a Dockerized application. And thirdly, the Docker daemon and the user do not communicate with each other. It is always through a Docker client. The basic Docker architecture of client and server ensures that the way containers execute are OS agnostic. And this again is the fundamental premise on which Docker containers are built and distributed that it can run on any OS that has all the essential application um, services required and they're adequately packaged to run an image within a Docker container. By keeping the architecture simple, Docker achieves this goal. And second, Docker containers have all the needed libraries, information on networks and execution environment for an application to be executed. And that's, again, a design goal of Docker architecture. The container which executes itself within an OS host is clearly delineated and has very clear-cut boundaries and dependencies built into it. And that makes it very easy for containers to resolve themselves and run the application that is required. In this topic, then, we learned the basic Docker architecture and the fundamental premise on which it is built, which is the Docker client and Docker server, and the important role that's played by the Docker daemon, which is the background thread that acts as a communicating link between the client and the Docker containers.